you made it to this week's episode. This is week three of the Early Childhood Educator. I'm so glad you're here. Today, I'm gonna to take you on a little tour of my home child care space, specifically the entryway area. I've done a few updates in this space, as well as a little bit of decorating for the new season. First, I want you to see all the little updates I added to this space, and then I'm gonna show you a little bit of the before, and finally, an after tour of our space. I don't live in a very fancy house, it's a very modest bungalow, and we are renters, so I make do with what we have to make it a welcoming little space for our families and children. My goal for this space was to provide a convenient, efficient, and welcoming environment for families and children, and also for a place to document their learning, and a way for parents to see it and engage with it. As soon as anyone enters my childcare space, they can see all the amazing learning and growing experiences we're having at my child care. When children arrive, they take off their shoes and there's a spot on the shoe rack for them. And they can keep whatever footwear they need here throughout the year. Then I have this shelf, which is handy. I'll often leave forms here for parents to sign, or maybe there's a treat sitting there or anything like that. And we've got hand sanitizer. When it was COVID protocols in place, I had a a spray bottle with sanitizer to wipe down door handles and the doorbell and some welcome instructions and my license for here I had a ring doorbell 
for during COVID so that I could see who was coming and going and when they were coming in and out. But I don't know if it's super useful for me anymore, but we'll see as the year goes on. Um, so I just ask that the parents knock and walk in. This way I just know someone's coming in my house because I can hear them knocking. As you come down the stairs, you can see this kind of cut out in my wall. And this is where I keep family resources and mailboxes. So all the family's last names are labeled on these mailboxes. And I will put things like um, forms that need to be signed or if there's small things that I don't want the children to get hold of that are theirs that need to go home with them, I'll toss them in there. And whatever I just any confidential information I'll pop it in there and then I've got my fall decor up for the season and then this is our little resource library that will get changed um, in and out and I just have a little binder here that just has a piece of paper to write your name and date and the book that you're taking out and so families are welcome to do that so there's different books about pregnancy and parenting and life in general and children obviously and some regional related stuff nonfiction yeah then we enter into our entryway space So immediately when you come down the stairs, you can see our whiteboard here for documentation. Let's take a closer look. So it's hard to tell because of the light fixture here, but across the top of the whiteboard, I have written, what are we talking about, curious of, or interested in exploring? And so this is a place where I can document that um, as we go. I like to use it like I would be brainstorming. So mind maps and random notes, sticky notes, and random scribbles, anything that's kind of applicable to what we're exploring. And then I take what I put on here and I put it in another place, which I'll show you in a minute. I'll also post notices up here and any other random things I'd like the parents to see. I just put these clipboards up so I'm hoping to put documentation up there and as we turn this way um, this is a oh well first here I have my philosophy statement here and this is a bulletin board that I just made with fabric and cardboard and trimmed it with a uh, border so this is kind of where I, I'm choosing to put my all my licensing information and our calendar here just with special days or when I'm closed, all that kind of stuff so parents can see it and be reminded every day. Below we have a book basket so when children are done getting dressed for outside time and they're waiting on their friends, they can find a book to read. So as you come down the stairs to your left, I have posted my weekly menu. So I use this kind of blackboard to just write what our lunches are for those days. And then the actual menu is up here and I rotate on a monthly basis or a week. So every four weeks it starts up again. And if there's any changes to our snacks or our lunches, I just mark it here. So this is kind of what we actually ate today. And then I have sticky notes just to cover up the children's names for this video. And then here I just write how we ate. So AM snack, I would write well, some refused or declined. And then the time from like 12 to two of when they slept. So, this is awesome because then I can, when parents pick up, I can focus my attention on talking about the learning experiences and the play we did that day. And 
all the things like how they ate and slept and what they ate can be something they glance at and if they have questions we can talk about it or if there was something kind of different that day or the child chose to eat differently that day or sleep differently that day we could talk about it but this just allows for more time at pickup to discuss um, you know deeper into the children's learning and I think parents appreciate that so then as we move over here this is my laundry room now I have not redone this laundry room door yet but I have plans to I just can't decide what I want to do with it um, so stay tuned for that I'll probably post on my stories when I do end up doing that and then if we move over here I have my forest school certification up here and my diploma is going to be going up here as well I just had to get a bigger frame for it as well as my certificate of registration with the College of Early Childhood Educators and our daily schedules up here too so as you pan this way you can see our hooks again I have the children's names covered with sticky notes and I only have two kids plus my own in my care at this point in time because uh, my little guy is only seven months old so just taking it easy after having a baby so we have a carpet here to have a nice soft spot to sit to get our outdoor clothes on and each child has a basket so they get to keep their mittens and indoor shoes if they prefer them or slippers and all that kind of stuff in their baskets and then above it we have what I'm calling the pedagogical vision board remember when I mentioned earlier about what I write on the whiteboard this is the place I take that and I document it because whiteboards are wipeable and once it's wiped it's gone so this is a place where it can be more permanent so I sum up what is displayed on the whiteboard uh, on about a monthly basis but learning is not linear like we'd like it to be as adults if you're interested I would love to do a video on this pedagogical vision board itself we could talk a lot about pedagogy and how to document children's learning on the right of our children's hooks I have this gate that my husband is going to help me install to the wall so that it's not movable um, except for one of the panels to be like a little doorway to walk through this is actually a pet gate I got at home sense and it's so much more beautiful than a lot of the baby gates out there so I thought we could kind of DIY a baby gate that looks nice so it is just sitting here for now but it is helpful in this space I didn't have this last year because this curtain here is hiding our furnace room and it's got a kind of ugly closet door on it and I just put the curtain over it to make it feel a little bit more beautiful in this space because it is a basement and it, we are renters so that was an easy fix but children like to play in the curtains so this baby gate I think will be a lifesaver this winter I also used to have a desk in the space but I felt like I never really used the desk so we moved it somewhere else and I'm seeing this space at this point in time to be a place to showcase children's learning perhaps documentation and artwork can be posted here and and or maybe this is a space where I put documentation that I don't want the children to touch but I really want the parents to see um, pieces of work that they put a lot of time and effort into but if I left it low on the wall their beautiful masterpiece would be destroyed by the end of the year that kind of stuff so we'll see how that goes I have a coat tree here just with my my coats and extra mud suits these pieces of artwork were created by the children at a program I ran this summer at my place it was called forest babies and it was like a parent toddler parent baby program every Friday morning for about an hour and children got like a mini version of forest school so this was one of the experiences and it was paint with different blocks and cars I think and children clearly used their hands too which was great posting the children's artwork 
makes it feel like a space for children and builds children's self-awareness and self-esteem when they can see their artwork on the wall. So as the year progresses, there will be a lot more artwork in this entry area. To the right is another little cedar rail hook. This is the backpack that I take in and outside with the children. I put my attendance binder in there and water bottles, um, wipes, diapers, anything really that I need to throw in there and free up my hands. This space is not very tall. I am a shorter person, but so I don't really notice, but it is a shorter space, so we make it work. It's nice though that we have a lot of area to get ready with the children. I have a baby gate across the bottom of the stairs here so that when we are getting ready for outside and I'm sitting helping a child get ready, I don't have to worry about another child sneaking up the stairs. And same with just inside the door of our classroom here. So that comes out so that children can be kept in this space because it is just me. If there were more teachers, this probably wouldn't need to be a necessity, but I can't sit down and put a snowsuit on one child without having another child be exploring. And at the top of the stairs and at every exit, I have a fire safety plan. Thanks so much for coming on this tour with me. It was so fun to show you my space. I am a home child care provider and if you are too, it can be very isolating as you know. So it's nice to be able to share it with others and show all the hard work we've put into our spaces. So this was a little sneak peek into my childcare program. If you're interested in a tour of our classroom or our outdoor space, comment below, or maybe there's another area you wanna go into deeper. I'm so happy and excited to do that with you. So let me know. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. There's a new episode coming every Wednesday, so you'll get notifications for that so you won't miss out. Hope you enjoyed yourself here today. I look forward to seeing you again next week.